so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's session guys we'll be talking about the pib news from 19th to 21st of may 2023 and i hope the preparations for the upcoming rpa gate examinations are going well please uh so please don't do that you guys are, have started procrastinating so please don't do that because this time this the hard work that you are giving in these days will definitely make a difference ठीक है ना जो लोग exam निकालेंगे और जो लोग exam नहीं निकालेंगे उनके बीच का जो difference होगा वो इन्हीं दिनों में decide होगा और आपके actions और आपके hard work से ही decide होने वाला है so please don't do that just give your hundred percent okay so let's start with the today's class and let's talk about the very first question which says which of the following statements about recently approved PLI scheme 2.0 for IT hardware are incorrect. So before this, we have PLI scheme for IT hardware, which has now been transformed to the second edition of PLI scheme for IT hardware. Now, of course, the objective of this scheme, guys, is to, you know, give a boost to the production and manufacturing of the IT hardware, right? So let's talk about it and then we will come back to the question. And second question is based on the same news. So the union cabinet has approved the PLI scheme 2.0 for IT hardware and this will cover laptops, tablets, all-in-one PCs, servers and ultra small form factor devices. Now what is this ultra small form factor devices? You must have seen uh, in the markets or maybe aapke kisi dost ke paas hoga that uh, Apple ka Mac mini, right? That Mac mini wo itna chota sa bilkul ek computer hota hai. So that is laptop hota hai actually. That is the ultra small form of uh, PC. So, इस तरीके के जितने भी ultra small devices हैं, where the you know where the nanotechnology and pico technology is being used, so that is known as what ultra small form factor devices. ठीक है? So, this scheme will cover these devices as well. The total outlay of this scheme will be seventeen thousand crore for a total period of six years. And of course, the nodal ministry will be the Ministry of Electronics and IT, headed by Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav. Okay, and what is the expected incremental production that is uh, worth rupees 3.35 lakh crores? Expected incremental investment is worth rupees 2430 crores, and it is expected that this scheme will create direct employment of 75,000 number. Okay, 75,000 logo ko nokri milegi is particular scheme ki vajay se. Okay, now talking about India's uh, mobile phone sector, so India has become the world's second largest manufacturer in the world of mobile phones and the exports of mobile phone has crossed a major milestone of US $11 billion this year. We are talking about this year, that is 2023. Now, PIB has not mentioned that whether they are talking about financial year 2023, which can't be possible. So, $11 billion must be from January to uh, May 2023, which is approximately about 90,000 crores. All right, so, in export of mobile phones also, we are doing a commendable job. So let's come back to the question now. Uh, you have to identify the incorrect statement. It will cover laptops, tablets, all-in-one PCs, servers, and ultra small form factor devices, correct? It has a budgetary outlay of 12,000 crores, no. The budgetary outlay is 17,000 crores, okay? It will be implemented not for a period of five years, but for a period of six years. It will result in expected incremental investment of 2430 crores. Sahi hai. And it will also result in expected incremental production of rupees 3.35 lakh crores. This is also correct. So 2 and 3 are incorrect, which means option B will be the correct answer. 2 and 3 only. Let's talk about question number 2. India has become the Dash largest manufacturer of mobile phones and has achieved the export milestone of Dash this year. So this we have discussed. So India has become the second largest manufacturer of mobile phones and we have achieved the export milestone of 11 billion dollars this year so what should be the correct answer yeah option e will be the correct answer let's talk about question number three ministry of health and family welfare has launched 75 25 initiative with an aim to screen and put 75 million people with hypertension and diabetes on standard care by this year so i think iske naam se hi iska answer clear hai so 75 billion people with hypertension and diabetes on standard care uh, will be, you know, will be screened, okay? So uh, by the year 2025. So this 25 signifies 
ंग the prevention and management of hypertension and diabetes which was organized by the ministry of health and family welfare and who theek hai world health organization it will be the largest expansion of ncds new non communicable diseases and primary healthcare program in the world with a community based approach starting at the primary healthcare level so we are starting it with, with the primary healthcare level then it will go uh, forward to the secondary and tertiary healthcare level as well theek hai During the event, a portal which is Shashakt portal has been launched, right? And why it has been launched for providing training to forty thousand primary care health officers, medical officers on standard treatment workflows for the non-communication, uh, non-communicable diseases. Okay, so provide to, so to provide training to forty thousand primary health care workers on standard treatment of non-communicable diseases. This portal has been launched. Okay. So that is all about this news, and now let's come back to question number three. This answer I already told you, two thousand and twenty-five is the correct answer. Question number four is about that portal which has been launched to give training to the forty thousand primary healthcare uh, medical officers. So the name of the portal is Sashakt Portal. Option B is the correct answer. Let's talk about question number five. Mission Amrit Sarovar has been launched in twenty twenty-two with a name to provide sustainable water sources, where in every district. is expected to construct or rejuvenate a minimum of 75 amrit sarovars and sarovars in english is ponds theek hai these ponds in each districts must have a minimum pondage area of water pondage area kitna hoga and minimum water holding capacity kitni hogi pondage area means area of that sarovar let's say this is the area of that pond so uh, kitna hona chahiye ye area and what should be the water held, holding capacity of this pond theek hai So let's talk about Mission Amrit Sarovar. But the thing is, it was launched in the year two thousand and twenty-two. Then why we are discussing it today? Because there was a meeting which was held to review the Mission Amrit Sarovar. So over meeting, what happened? That is not important for us. What important for us is the Mission Amrit Sarovar, right? So it was launched in twenty twenty-two with the basic objective that we all know is to provide sustainable water sources, where in every district is expected to construct or rejuvenate at least. 75 amrit sarovars or ponds the target is to rejuvenate or construct 50000 amrit sar sarovars across the country and all these amrit sarovars must have a minimum pondage area of 1 acre that is 0.5 hectare so if the question is in the form of hectare if the options are provided in the form of hectare the answer would be 0.4 hectare but if the options would be in the form of 1 uh, acres then the answer would be 1 acre theek hai and minimum water holding capacity should be 10000 cubic meter right the mission period is 24th of april 2022 and it shall be completed by 15th august 2023 and it is a scheme you know under uh, for implementing this scheme a whole of government approach is being followed and various ministries are giving their efforts in this particular mission and these ministries are jal shakti rural development panchayati raj environment forest and climate change railways and road transport and highways All right, and the technical partner for this scheme is Biseg N, which is Bhaskara Charya National Institute for Space Application and Geo Informatics. And from where the funding is coming? The ah, uh, yeah, government has given some extra funding. Did it? Have government provided any kind of ah uh, extra funding for it or any kind of outlay for it? No. The funding is coming from the already implemented schemes or programs of the government of India. that is manrega and watershed development components some funding is from the 15th finance commission grant some funding is from har khet ko pani repair renovation and restoration and some funding is from the public that is crowd funding or csr funding theek okay? hai so i hope this is clear and what should be the pondage area so that's 1 acre and what should be the minimum water holding capacity 10000 cubic uh, meters so what should be the correct answer yeah, option d is the correct answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स हाउ मच फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू ईच एफ पी ओ अंडर फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड एफ पी ओ स्कीम नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम टू अ वेरी बिग सरप्राइज टू मी दिस पी आई वी रिलीज हैज यू नो सरप्राइज मी अ लॉट बिकॉज टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एवरीवेयर दैट इन द सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम फॉर फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड एफ पी ओज हाउ मच अमाउंट इज गिवन टू एफ पी ओज फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स दैट इज एटीन लाख अभी हमने पिछले गवर्नमेंट स्कीम के सेशन में भी ये बात पढ़ी थी आप लोगों की पीडीएफ में भी यही बात मेंशन है इससे पहले भी मैं यही पढ़ता आया हूँ पढ़ाता आया हूँ बट दिस टाइम गवर्नमेंट इज सेइंग समथिंग डिफरेंट दिस टाइम दे आर सेइंग दैट अंडर सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम फॉर फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड एफ वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग रुपीज लाख पर एफ एंड आई डोंट नो फ्रॉम वेयर दिस फिगर हैज कम कहाँ से ये फिगर आ गई मुझे इसका कोई अंदाजा नहीं है बिकॉज आई वेंट थ्रू द एंटायर डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ दिस स्कीम आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस रिलीज बट uh, मैं अगर सारे अमाउंट्स को जोड़ भी रहा हूँ तब भी वो थर्टी थ्री लैक्स नहीं बन रहे इफ आई इफ आई वॉज एडिंग ऑल दी वोज अमाउंट विच वर यू नो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड अंडर दिस स्कीम सो आई इफ आई वुड एड ऑल दोज अमाउंट्स आई विल नॉट कम टू दिस नंबर थर्टी थ्री लैक्स सो आई डोंट नो हाउ दे आर सिंग थर्टी थ्री लैक्स बट ठीक है सरकार कह रही है माई बाप है तो हमें तो मानना ही पड़ेगा और हमारी माई बाप तो है ही साथ ही साथ एग्जामिनर की माई बाप भी है तो एग्जामिनर तो यहीं से क्वेश्चन उठाएगा ठीक है तो अगर आपके एग्जाम में ये क्वेश्चन आता है और ऑप्शन में एटीन लाख नहीं है और थर्टी थ्री लाख आपको दिखा है ऑप्शन में तो आपको आंसर मार्क करना है थर्टी थ्री लाख अगर दोनों है ऑप्शन में तो भी मैं आपसे यही बोलूंगा कि आपको आप आंसर मार्क करना है थर्टी थ्री लाख बिकॉज एज पर रिसेंट पी आई बी रिलीज फ्रॉम वेयर देर आर हाई चांसेस दैट द एग्जामिनर विल मेक द क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो यू विल मार्क द आंसर एज थर्टी थ्री लाख ठीक है सो दिस इज यू नो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स यू गाइज कंटिन्यूसली यू नो आप मेरे को बोलते रहते हो कि यार बार बार अपडेट मत किया करो बार बार अपडेट मत किया करो बताओ मैं क्या करूँ जब सरकार डेली कुछ नया नया अपडेट दे देती है तो आई ऑल्सो हैव टू यू नो अपडेट द पी डी एफ एंड यू नो आई ऑल्सो हैव टू गिव द अपडेट टू यू बिकॉज अगर दर भाई नहीं दूंगा तो फिर आप बाद में गाली दोगे कि भाई ये तो पढ़ाता ही नहीं है ठीक से इजेंट इट सो ऐसा चल रहा है इसमें तो चलो आओ इस पे इस स्कीम के ऊपर हम आए क्यों हैं ये बात कर लेते हैं बिकॉज 1100 new FPOs in cooperative sector will be formed, as announced by the government under this particular scheme only, and it will realize the government's vision of sahkar se samriddhi. Right? The target of these, uh, the target of establishing these 1100 additional FPOs has been allocated to National Cooperative Development Corporation by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. ठीक है? और यहाँ पे ये बात मैंने लिख दी है. पूरी नहीं लिखी है थर्टी थ्री लाख इज प्रोवाइडेड टू ईच एफ पीओ एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव लाख पर एफ पीओ इज प्रोवाइडेड टू क्लस्टर बेस्ड बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट सो या द आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री लाख ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्च द एनुअल कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग प्लान अंडर मिशन कर्मयोगी मिशन कर्मयोगी के अंडर कौन सी मिनिस्ट्री ने लॉन्च किया है एनुअल कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग प्लान सो द मिनिस्ट्री इन क्वेश्चन गाइज इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर and this annual capacity building plan has been launched to enhance and sharpen the capacities of civil servants who are working in various government organizations under the ministry of health and family welfare right and it is a uh, you know it is a strategic document which will provide assistance in developing the enhancement of capacities of individuals and ministries and depart ministry ministry the department under the ministry and organizations under the ministry theek okay? hai and it has been developed by capacity building commission in close coordination and consultation with the mission karma yogi theek hai ji so that is all about this ministry of health and family welfare headed by mansukh mandavi is the correct answer let's talk about question number 8 <clears throat> india's national disaster management authority in collaboration with which organization or organizations organized a high level meeting on mid term review of tendai framework for disaster risk reduction 2015 to 30 at the United Nation headquarters in New, which is of course in New York. So this Tendai framework for disaster risk reduction, it was implemented, it was adopted in the year 2015 till, and the the time frame for this framework is 2015 to 2030, right? And it was adopted during the third, during the third United Nation World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, right? and before this it it was it was actually this framework actually was the successor of hyogo framework hyogo framework theek okay? hai uh, for disaster risk reduction so before sendai framework we had 
Yogo framework, which was, you know, which had the time frame of 2005 to 2015. Okay, and now we have Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction, and it is a voluntary uh, framework. It is a voluntary framework. ठीक है जिसमें कि जो कंट्रीज है वो अपने आप को शामिल कर सकती हैं साइन कर सकती हैं एंड दे कैन वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन ऑफ दिस फ्रेमवर्क एंड ऑफ कोर्स द मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस फ्रेमवर्क इज टू रिड्यूस द डिजास्टर रिस्क ठीक है एंड द हाई लेवल मीटिंग ऑफ मिड टर्म रिव्यू ऑफ दिस फ्रेमवर्क वॉज रिसेंटली हेल्ड एट यूनाइटेड नेशन हेडक्वार्टर्स वाई दिस मीटिंग टू प्लेस टू डिस्कस द रोल ऑफ स्टेट फॉर प्रोमोटिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट In the disaster risk reduction, because without investment, yeah, we cannot do anything. It was organized by India's National Disaster Management Authority and JICA, which is Japan International Cooperation Agency, in coordination with United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. An Indian delegation to this meeting was led by Dr. P. K. Mishra, who is the principal secretary to the Honorable Prime Minister. All right. And yeah, the outcomes of this meeting was it outlined the primary role of states and. Uh, Uh, how the states can perform their role in promoting investment in disaster risk reduction and how the state can minimize the damages and impacts associated with the climate change and thereby building a resilient society right and it called for every state's responsibility now what type of re this responsibility of course to reduce the existing risk and to prevent uh, the risk the disaster risk in for the future generation theek hai ji so that is all about it so which organization uh, helped the nda ndma to organize this uh, event it's jica and united nation office for disaster risk reduction so a and b should be the correct answer option d and now guys let's talk about uh, the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and if you want to ace the examination this year you can join the exclusive crash course for this year rbi gate b 2023 where we are providing the live classes the mock tests the mentors the personalized mentorship sessions and everything and of course a book kit is also being provided question number 9 where is g20 research and innovation initiative gathering rick conference on scientific challenges and opportunities for sustainable blue economy being held kahan pe hua hai rick conference in short rick conference kahan pe hua hai so it is being organized in diu option a diu is the correct answer and these are the sub themes of this particular conference where is ministry of ayush organizing national ayush mission conclave for better coordination among stakeholders and strengthening the functioning of ayush health wellness center remember union cabinet has recently approved to operationalize the 12500 ayush health and wellness center this number you should remember very very important and this national ayush mission conclave under national ayush mission took place in new delhi option d is the correct answer union cabinet has approved the signing of mou between competition commission of india cci and competition authority of which country for promotion for promoting and strengthening of cooperation and competition law and policy so is tarike ke mou uh, cci karta rehta hai such mous are being done regularly by cci this time it has been done with egypt option a is the e is the correct answer question number 12 united uh, union cabinet has uh, approved an another mou between institute of chartered accountants of india icai and accounting authority of which country to establish mutual cooperation for the advancement of accounting knowledge professional and intellectual development so again an mou and this time it is maldives <clears throat> option a is the correct answer with which economic block is india working to resolve carbon border adjustment mechanical mechanism issue theek hai kaun se economic block ke sath iske bare mein detail mein hum padhenge theek hai to abhi iske bare mein jitna aaya tha maine zyada nahi liya hai because that is not much important for our examination that is rbi grade b 2023 so we, we are doing it with european union option b is the correct answer with which international organization has cabinet approved signing of project collaboration agreement on assistive technology kaun si international organization ke sath cabinet ne approve kiya hai an agreement on assistive technology where both the where that organization will provide the assistance in technology right so that's who world health organization headquartered in geneva 
how much subsidy government will be providing for the Kharif 2023 to fulfill its commitment of providing quality and subsidized PNK fertilizer to, to farmers, right? So, kitna subsidy government degi for this Kharif season? So, that's 38,000 crores. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 16. Which ministry or ministries have committed to come up with integrative health policy for the health and wellness of public at large? Kaun si ministry hai ye? So, we are talking about health and wellness. So, the ministry must be Ministry of Ayush and Health and Family Welfare. And the correct answer, therefore, is option E, A and C. Which ministry has organized the Global Biofuel Alliance Seminar on the sidelines of the third G20 Energy Transition Group Working Group Meeting, which will take place in Mumbai, in Maharashtra? So, which ministry must be this? Can you, uh, you know, aap kya laga sakte ho? can you guess the answer? Yes, I can guess it. Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, headed by Hardeep Singh Puri. And the last question for today, where has the first inter-ministerial committee meeting on World Food India 2023 been organized by the Ministry of Food Processing Industry? So again, the correct answer is New Delhi. Option D is the correct answer. All right, guys, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye, take care and God bless.